Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Freeways, Freeways, da -da -da -da. Freeways, Freeways, da -da -da -da. <laughs> Oh, I'm losing my mind already. Anyway, ignoring this beautiful piece of engineering. So Freeways is a game where you get to build your own highway intersection. Uh, last time we did the first nine levels uh, with varying results. We had some very neat looking solutions and we also had some not so neat looking solutions. <laughs> uh, but all of them did work. Surprisingly. And now we've got a load of new levels. So all the all these squares around the outside, they represent different level and they, they sort of continue from where you left off. So if we look at this top left absolute mess, uh, if we go above there, you can see there's two little roads where that blue car just disappeared to. If we click up here, here we are. We have a new level to do. So we've got in and outs on every single arm. So that's quite a nice one, actually. That's like a nice little four way solution. However, you've got to sort of take into account when you click on each sign, you see you get different well i was gonna say can you see you get different thickness arrows but they're all the same thickness which means the same amount of traffic wants to go in every direction yeah so this could be quite a nice little clover leaf i think because we found out last time I, I sort of did the four by fours which is what i'm calling this style of level we found out the clover field in this game it was actually quite effective it's also quite simple to do so i'm just going to go with that for now oh hang on hang on the left and rights have changed Ah, oh, that is sneaky. Yeah, I nearly, I nearly went straight across there. But if you look down the bottom left, you got your the driving like on the left. However, if you look from left to right, they're actually driving on the right. So I'm going to swap them around just to make the clover leaf bit work. So first things first, we do like an S bend, and then we just head straight over, bridge over there. That's what this light colored bit is. It means it's a bridge. So we're not making a junction. Uh, head over here and then do a bit of that. And to connect this other one in, we're going to do the same thing, but we're just going to bridge over like that. Lovely jubbly. Oh, that was a bit wonky. And we're trying to minimize bridges on this. I think that brings the sort of overall cost down and uh, makes it more efficient, just like real life. So that looks pretty good if you ask me, but we need to think about all the directions. So at the moment, if you're coming from the bottom and you're driving up, you can only go straight ahead. That's no good for anyone. So we're going to do the classic clover leaf, which is... To do oh, bollocks. I just cocked that up. I just cocked that up. You know, let's see what happens here. Did I cock it up? It might be okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> There's no undo on this game, so very frustrating when you cock up. Uh, so we'll loop that one round like that. We'll loop that one round like that. And we'll loop this one round. It's going to tell us that it's finished, but it's not finished. See? Network complete. No game. You wait for me. So people coming from the bottom, if they want to go left to the west, if we follow like one of these green cars, you can see they come up, they have to go around here, and then they'll go along here, around that one, along here, around that one, and then they're where they want to go. So what we what we do is we just put a little, little bit of that in. And we do that on all these arms, and it saves people having to go all the way around the roundabout. So I think, yeah, you want to go from there. Oh, this could be quite steep. Uh, and then from this one, through the sign. <laughs> Sorry, sign. <laughs> I assume they can drive through that, right? Can you drive through the sign? Boosh. Yes, you can. Right, so now we're done. We can press this stopwatch down here. And this simulates with lots of traffic. And it gives you like an overall score. And ours is 400, which is pretty good. So this is combined with your traffic flow, the amount of concrete used. So I think like the shorter your roads are, the less bridges you use, the better. And then a complexity factor. About 400, that's what we call quite a good score. I think we're looking to be sort of between 200 and 400. It's a sort of good score. Have a nice. So now we go back to the map. You can see it's added to our main map. You can actually see all my different scores up there. So my, my brainy mess only got 248 compared to the one I just did, 401. So much better score, very efficient. Where shall we go next? Maybe next to it? Above the most efficient junction design we've ever done in this game? Yeah, I think we'll go there. So, oh goodness, what is this? Okay, so I think these things there, they're like different buildings. And I'm pretty sure you can't drive through them. Let's, let's take a road and sort of... Yeah, okay. Definitely can't drive through them. Yeah, but first things first, we want to check out all the different arrows just to see where the traffic wants to go. All right, so these want to go left pretty majorly. These guys want to go left and right. And a little bit ahead, they want to go... Okay, so I think this is the main one to think about. So we're going to go left as our sort of main route. So that's the biggest arrow. So I think that's like, we're going to make that the simplest method. Okay, as we're close by, we're just going to do you straight onto there like that. And similarly, I think we'll do a straight off there. Nice. Uh, we'll probably just make you go straight on there as well. Uh, and then you may as well do this turn as well. Now to think about the other thing. So this straight ahead one. All right, so from the left, we want to go straight onto that road. So it's 
probably worth bridging over, but we also want to go down to there. I'm sort of thinking we just we just go straight and then we go over the top and then in like that. I think that hasn't cocked up the road below. Now we ideally need a yellow to come out of here, but there hasn't been one yet. Now likewise, we can come off there and just do that. Sorted. Uh, to get this one over there is a little bit tricky. I wonder if we could... Oh, this is this could cock everything up. If we go to there and then go up. Oh yeah, we've just about managed it. Sneak that through and then go down. <laughs> So dodgy. But uh, that sort of works. That sort of works. Right now we've just got to do onto this purple area. 12 north. So I think we can just do an arm coming off there. Go up. Go down. Oh no, I did the wrong... I've done this before. Bollocks. <laughs> so I went up twice there. That's why it's gone really light grey. Right, hopefully they can still use that. I think they can. <laughs> that goes so high, so unnecessary. Although actually, it could help us. If we were to come... I could cock this up completely. We'll go up one, and then we've gone under that bridge, and then we can come around. I don't know if there's enough room to do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it safe. We're gonna come over here and go down onto the <laughs> complete. What is this at the middle? <laughs> oh man, absolutely terrible. It somehow works. So can you see this light, this lightish grey compared to the other two greys? That means it goes like super high, meaning this bridge like passes underneath it. So three stories going on there. Pretty cool. Uh, let's press the simulation button and see how we get on. It's sort of flying. It's not getting too stuck. I don't think. 340. Decent. Uh, shall we try this one? I'm, I'm sort of just thinking we just work around clockwise. Nice. Oh, look at this. Another four-way arm. Oh, not a lot of traffic. Not a lot of traffic at all. Ooh, I tell you what then. If there's not a lot of traffic, this could be one just to try out. Just a simple roundabout. So if we do, I don't know, how big a roundabout do we do? Like that sort of thing. Let me do that. Let me do that. Do the top arm. Network complete. Nice little roundabout. That's like the quickest level I've ever done. Right, shall we simulate? Look, can you see there's like hardly any traffic? Perfect. I could have done like a way smaller roundabout actually. Oh, decent. So 177, not very good, but complexity factor has gone down. It's no longer 36, it's just, it's just six. Uh, we also unlocked a pick. Now last time this sort of gave us a real life example of what we created. Uh, so let's see what this does. Oh no, okay. <laughs> What is this? Every interchange was once a country road crossing like this one in Mexico. Uh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Is that true? Every interchange? Or does it mean every interchange in Mexico? Don't know. <laughs> we're random in this game. <laughs> this game is random sometimes, but um, we're always learning. We're always learning. Right, back to the map. Uh, we'll do top right. Oh, look, we got five arms now. How do we do this one? I guess we sort of work out. Oh, look, interesting. So coming from one west, the people only want to go one direction. They only want to go to one B. They don't care about any of the other routes. So I'm sort of thinking we do that one first. That's like a straight through the easy one. So that one's sorted. No other arms off there, but we will have some going on. I think from down here, purple is the biggest route. So let's head over there first. So we'll do a little bridge over there and then just head into there like that. So I think we're going to do all the major sort of routes now. So down, so this 1B wants to go to the yellow. So we'll do that. I think we'll just do a sort of smooth arm. You want to get nice and perpendicular with your crossings. So they're nice and short. That's what we do in real life. So make some cheaper because the longer your bridge is, the stronger it has to be, the more it will cost. Uh, this purple one, it wants to go down to blue as the main route. Uh, annoyingly, I could have made this bridge a little bit longer and then we could have fit that underneath. All right, there you go. I've redrawn to have a double bridge there. Very nice. And then from here, we just want to go straight down. So I'm not entirely sure, but I think the game prefers it if you do two little bridges. It, just like real life, this is what you do. You do like a little bridge and another little bridge rather than one really long bridge. You'd sort of fill in this land with like dirt and stuff because uh, it's cheaper if you don't need to support anything You don't need space underneath that. Why would you make it a bridge? All right, so now we need to think of ways to do all the different turns that one doesn't have one So that doesn't need to go anywhere. This one needs to go to green and to yellow So to go to green is easy. We just do that to go to yellow we can just cut across there, I think. Yeah, that'll save any sort of structure being needed. So we come around there and do that. So they're all done. So from the green, we want to go down to the red and up to there. So as we've got a merge here, so a merge is where you have a, like a slip road merge onto your main road. Uh, generally, you want to diverge before that. So rather 
rather than doing it up there and coming off, we're going to go before and come off that way. That means there's slightly less traffic coming up here. So that's all good. And then to get down to red, I'm sort of thinking we just do like a U in there. So if we come off that and do that, that's all those done. All right, the purples are a little bit tricky, it looks like. All right, so it's got there, it's all good. And we've got space in here if we need to do anything else. We want to get to red, I'm sort of thinking. We don't want a crossroads, we really don't want a crossroads. Do we want another bridge though? That is the question. Actually, we don't need another bridge. We can, because I don't think this slip road is going to get used too much. I think we can come off from under there and just connect straight onto it. And then we've just got to get to green. So I think we'll do like a U-bend up there. Then yellows, to get to green, we're going to come off where we went flat here and go under that bridge like that. And to get to purple, so if you're, it's going to be quite horrible actually. We come off there, go back on yourself and join after there. <laughs> That's a horrible junction, but it looks quite simple. Oh, we've sort of got like a weird roundabout thing in the middle. I don't think this is going to do very well. Let's simulate and see what happens. It's sort of flowing okay, actually. 441. <laughs> That's a brilliant score. What did we learn about that? I think we learnt I can fluke any test you put in front of me. Back to the map. All right, let's work down. Oh God, we've got the C, the C. Okay, so looking at all these, they only want to go two directions, which is quite interesting. Let's think logically. We want to we want to reduce structures. I don't know if that's exactly how this game works, but me being a real life engineer, I know structures are the most expensive thing with a road. So I'm sort of looking at this gap. I'm like, these two want to get around there and then we can go from there and then maybe put like a bridge across here. So shall we do that to start with? Where, where do these want to go again? Up there and over there. Okay, I think we'll start with this one. So we'll go along there. Keep you tight to this foresty thing, whatever that is, and then sort of just do that. Meanwhile, I think we're just going to do similar. I'm going to keep a bit of a wide berth there, just so we can branch off if we need. All right, I'm pretty sure in this game, these trees and stuff, you can't even bridge over them. So we're going to have to go up a bit. I'm sort of thinking if I do the bottom one first. So we'll come off here, we'll head that way, we'll bridge up, go as tight to the tree as possible, back down, connect you in. This one will go like parallel to that and then we'll connect you in up there. So everything from this greenhouse is done. They're not flashing anymore, those arrows. From the top, we've still got to get over to the right. So that's probably going to involve a bridge over here connecting in there maybe. Yeah, but from this one, we've got to get to the green as well. So I'm sort of thinking if we come off there, over the top, back down. That's sorted. That's nice and simple. The only thing is, have I cocked up how we get from here over to there. I was thinking a bridge over there, but then it will be a double bridge. So we're going to come off there. We're going to do up one, up two, over there. Then we'll come down twice and then connect in there. Network complete. Again, we got like a two story thing here. We got ground level bridge, higher bridge, and then the highest bridge. So it might affect our efficiency, but let's simulate and see how it looks. Oh God, there's a lot of traffic. There is a lot of traffic. Uh, 365, not bad. Oh, look, we unlocked another picture. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this. Marn, or Marnie, Michigan, found a creative solution. Oh, is this the same? Is this what they did? Don't know. Either way, pretty cool. I do like seeing a highway interchange because I'm a massive highway nerd, apparently. <laughs> but cool, decent. 365, not bad. Yeah, let's head down. Oh, we got the river continuing. Oh, okay, everything wants to go everywhere and it doesn't matter what way it does it. This is a bit tricky. What shall we do? I'm sort of thinking we put in our simple straight crosses. So over the bridge, simple. Same in the other direction. Lovely. Uh, I want to do from there over there because it's sort of nice and easy out the way. Uh, same with that one around there. Nice. I don't know if I want loads of bridges over the river or do I? Do you like bridges? <laughs> Do you like bridges? I'm sort of thinking if we do just use these bridges, then we're going to get like double the traffic on it. So I'll tell you what, we're going to have four bridges over the river. This could be a bit silly, but whatever. We're going to have quad bridges in a line. It's going to be beautiful. All right, so we go from there straight up. And then to get onto the blue, I don't know where the best place to do it is. It's probably down here rather than up here. So we're going to do like a similar, basically the, the mirror image. So we'll come off there, up and over, back down, across the river, back down, down to there. Nice. All right, and then I think we just connect these up. So we say, you go onto that, you go onto that. So both the corner ones are done. There's no more flashing arrows. Uh, but these M1's a bit of a nightmare. So what we can do is... 
feel like I did these wrong, actually. I probably should have merged there. Maybe it wouldn't matter at all. Maybe it wouldn't matter at all. So yeah, I think we'll do, we'll do that then. And we'll do similar over here. So then we've just got to get these guys up and over. And we could just do... It's a bit sneaky. Or do we just do a cheeky little bridge over the top? I do like a cheeky little bridge. So yeah, if we go from under there, we're going to do a cheeky little bridge. So up, over, back down. Nice. And then we'll do the same down here. So... Oh no, I cocked that one up. No! <laughs> That's going the wrong way. I was meant to do that. Has that worked? Yeah, that has worked. Oh, that's a mess now. Now the blues are coming on there. Oh, God. Anyway, the cheeky little bridge is coming from under there, going up and back down like that. Network complete. We've got four river crossings. Beautiful. Let's simulate this. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. It looks quite cool, actually. 445. <laughs> Whoa, that did way better than I was expecting. Quad bridges for the win. <laughs> Right, and we unlocked a picture. Ooh, it's a partial cloverleaf. Yeah, so you see down here, it's a sensible design for a freeway with light traffic. So basically these sorts of layouts, they sort of depend on the traffic flows or predicted future traffic flows. And generally it's all like to standards. So you like, you just look up a table or graph or something. It will tell you this much traffic, use this one. It's not just freehand like this, <laughs> but uh, this is much more fun. So back to the map. Shall we continue our river? I am I am liking the river ones. Oh, the river disappears here. What is this? Is that a car wash? I think that's a car wash. Oh, look. Green road. Whoa, that wants to go straight. We're going to let you go straight then, mate. Uh, well, that wants to go back. So I think we'll just do parallel roads. I'm going to keep them a little bit wide. So I have the option to do a bridge that direction if needs be. Oh, look. There's loads of car washes. They're everywhere. Right, so this direction wants to go to every car wash. Right, first things first. I'm thinking we take this one around like that. So the car washes don't want to go to each other, which isn't surprising. No, but these want to go, they want to go back onto there. So there you go, that green car is nice and shiny now. Look how shiny it is, lovely. And it's back on the road, sorted. Uh, if we want to get these to reds, I'm sort of thinking we go over the top and back down like that. So the car wash, the dark blue car wash is now sorted. Uh, so from here, I think we're going to want to come off before this merge, head that direction, go up, back down. We'll go into that one. We'll do another arm into that one. I'm going to make the reds join there. And these guys also want to go around that way. So I think we'll do that up, over, back down and around. And it's just a case of going from these onto the roads. So we're going to merge these together first. And we're going to do that with them, but then come off there and go over and onto there. There you go. Now we're complete. Uh, let's press the old stopwatch and see how she goes. Oh, it's not looking too bad. I don't know how efficient it was. I feel like I used quite a bit of... <gasps> 470? Sorry, that was a really high-pitched voice. <laughs> I was surprised by that. That's that's a good score. I think that's one of my best scores. Nice. Let's head back to the map. What is my best score? That was my best score by a long way. Decent. All right, we're going to do one more. And we're going to go... I think we're going to go in this corner. Because I feel like that's a nice little... That's a nice little pattern there. So we're going to do this corner. Oh, look. There's a stopwatch. What does a stopwatch mean? I don't know. They want to go over there. They want to go over there. And you want to go down there. Oh, interesting. So they sort of all want to go in a bit of a... I feel like a bit of a roundabout on this one. I feel like if they're going around there, then you can... Yeah, let's do that. So I think I'll take you round. I feel like I might have to do a double bridge. So I'm going to pre-prepare. All right, so we've got room under there for another bridge, which I think is going to be this one. Yeah, so come along here, down, and get under there. Uh, yeah, just straight down. That's a horrible 90 degree bend. Probably shouldn't do that. I wonder if it slows down. Does he slow down? Oh, it does slow down. Oh, that's interesting. So the smoother your bends, just like real life, the faster you can drive around them without dying. Ooh, okay. So you want to go to red, so I think we'll just do that. You want to go to blue, so I think we'll just do that. And you want to go to green, so I think we'll just do that. Decent, that's really a simple junction. I wonder if it will perform well. Let's simulate. There's so many cars, it's like a, a secret message. <gasps> we nearly got 500. <laughs> Oh, I want to get 500 now. 497, though. I'll take that. I reckon if I didn't do a 90 degree bend there, we would have hit 500. Oh, well, let's go back to the map. Look at that. I am loving this game. And if you are, please boost that like button. Let me know that you're enjoying this game and you want to see more of it. I feel like this time we're a lot more sensible. Like, all of our solutions, they sort of look semi-realistic uh, compared to... <laughs> <laughs> compared to some of our earlier levels. But yes, as it says there, peace, love, and freeways. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers for joining. Bye!